with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, lots of changeable weather out there on this Monday. Started off hot, muggy, temperatures climbing into the low 90s for many of us, and then wham, those big thunderstorms firing up in that high heat and humidity. Again, 91 degrees, top temperature today, morning start of 74, and from the storms, at least at the airport, about four tenths of an inch of rain, just shy of that coming down, fast and furious. But there were locations around the metro, around the viewing area, that picked up one to two inches of rain in a very short period of time. Right now it is 76 degrees, mostly cloudy. Humidity, oof, that's sky high, 91%. That's also leading to a little bit of patchy fog starting to form, especially in the low spots. Keep that in mind if by chance you have to be out and about late tonight, early, early tomorrow morning, like most of us do, a south-southeasterly wind in here, seven miles per hour. There's your radar scan. Looks great. Nothing showing up around the metro. Matter of fact, the viewing area as a whole is pretty much void of any showers and storms at this point in the game. They're not far away, out near Lexington, just east of Cynthiana. Also, out near the Wabash, we have some rain going on. And we go farther north, some thunderstorms are still rumbling across central northern Indiana, back into central Illinois. And some of these storms are still pretty mean. They are sinking slowly south to southeast. By the time they get here, no severe weather on the way. But the chances for rain showers and a few rumbles will kind of increase again very, very late tonight into tomorrow morning. Here's why. The cold front is still off to our northwest, up around Chicagoland, down to near Kansas City. As this continues to slowly push southward, it'll also push these scattered showers and storms down into the lower Ohio Valley. Right now, yeah, threat for some strong to severe weather, most notably central Illinois, where a severe thunderstorm watch remains in place. But again, nothing like that around here. Here's the future cast. I'll take you through the overnight. For the most part, it's quiet until we get closer to daybreak tomorrow, the morning commute, a scattering of showers, a few rumbles of thunder, certainly a possibility. So allow a little extra time at the bus stop in the morning to get to your destinations. A few showers, certainly possible. Temperatures around 72 in the city. Outline regions will be a mix of upper 60s and low 70s. But here's the deal about tomorrow. The highest rain chance will come early in the morning until about 9, 10 o'clock. The front moves through, rain chances drop off tomorrow afternoon, we get some sunshine, and the humidity will slowly start coming down as well. Your high temperatures on your Tuesday, not bad. Middle and upper 80s in the afternoon. Here's the forecast overnight. Scattered showers will return late. Otherwise, watch out for some patchy fog. 72 on the low. Detailed forecast for tomorrow. There's that scattered rain chance in the morning. We trend drier, also trend sunnier as we move through the afternoon as slightly lower humidity works in. 87 year high. Rick, it turns absolutely gorgeous as the humidity drops off the table tomorrow night into Wednesday. Beautiful day Wednesday at 85 degrees. First day of September. How about that? Thursday, 88. Heat returns. The holiday weekend right now, also more muggy, could lead to a pop-up type of afternoon shower or storm each afternoon through the holiday weekend. Don't cancel the outdoor plans. Yeah. Don't cancel the golf. No, okay. But you might have to dodge a couple of showers every so often. Yeah, we're getting used to that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you.